Hey, shalom. 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 From your Salah. Call hello, Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Bahakhatash. The Ba'ana to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwap, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To the best of your ability, Jacques Nabok. Just coming at you with another camp lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the spirit. And of course, we do the same thing every weekend, man. Week in, week out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We come out and we bring out the scriptures to our people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Let you know that you are the true Hebrew Israelites according to these scriptures, man. And that is high time to awake out of sleep. So, Lucky, I pray that you can hear it pretty well. Um, hear it okay. Uh, well, it's a little windy out. Actually, pretty nice. A little cold, but still nice. But, um, yeah, yeah, first off, like I said again, the true name, well, let's get into the true name of the Father and the Son. True name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that He exists where He is to be. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Now there's no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. None of those letters are in the Hebrew alphabet. So we come out, we have to let you know the true names of the father and son because that's one of the main stumbling blocks for our people is that our people believe that his name is Jehovah that the son's name is Jesus and that he's some white guy. But that's a lie. It's not in the scriptures. The scriptures describes our Lord as a dark, melanated man with woolly hair and a deep voice. According to Revelation chapter 1, verses 13 through 15, you can get that description. And there's other descriptions in the scriptures that goes into the color of the people, man. What did Esau Edom do? The so-called white man, that's their biblical nationality. Our biblical nationality, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, again, you are Hebrew Israelites. Their nationality is they're Hebrew Edomites. They're Hebrews, but they come from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. We come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. So now that we got that out of the way, like I said again, it's high time to awake out of sleep. As you can see, it's a lot of darkness going on. A lot of, um, you can just tell that it's just this cringe-worthy nastiness, this filthiness that's going on throughout the planet right now, man. And especially, I mean, the laws that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man are coming up with is just damn ridiculous, man. Straight up, flat out. This guy has got to be taken out of power because other than that, nothing will survive. This guy got his ABCDEFG crew out here running rampant. They're constantly at war. He, they just came out of Afghanistan. Hasn't even been a full year. Now they're, they, they got problems with Russia. But you know what? That's all a part of the prophecies, man. Those wars, rumors of wars. And that's another thing that we have to go off into. Because those are things that Yahweh Shah spoke of that let you know that are indicators that we're in the last days. You hear wars and rumors of wars. What have you been hearing about? Nothing but wars and rumors of wars lately. Famines, pestilence, you see the inflation. The price of the food is through the roof. A lot of people are being evicted or, or can't afford this high ass rent, the damn rent, jumping up 300, 400, 500%. You see? And like I said, hey, go to the supermarket. Any of you that, that that's been to the supermarket lately and shop, you know what it is, man. The damn food. They, they actually got security devices on the meats, man, and steaks at, at certain um, supermarkets, man, Walmarts and things of that nature. So what you think it's going to get like when gas hit five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a gallon, if that were to happen? Which is, that's not far-fetched, man. Because shit, I grabbed gas yesterday morning. And by the afternoon, they had to jump the extra um, 25 cent just within hours. Last week, matter of fact, it's done jump within like 
Shit, damn near 75 cent within a week. And each week is still growing. So what are you gonna do? What are you niggas gonna do now? Well, I don't mean to say niggas, but it, there are a lot of nigga thinking um, Jake out here, man. They get these big ass SUVs. All they wanna do is ride the hood. They don't have no damn where to go. You know, just riding the hood, just with a big ass SUV, just burning damn gas for nothing, man. Now what are you gonna do? See what I'm saying? Well, let's go into some scriptures because I wanted to go off into faith, man. That's one of the things that Yehovah Shem Yahweh Shai has been really working on with me this past week is faith. Faith, 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 man. We have to have faith, man, in Yehovah Shem Yahweh Shai to make it through what's to come to pass, man. You see? The scripture says to pray that you are accounted worthy enough to make it through all the things that are to come to pass and to be accounted worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man. But you have to have faith, man. Now, let's get... um. Hebrews 11 and 6, which Hebrews is a, um, a good book of faith, man. When you want, um, you want to read up on faith, read the book of Hebrews. Read the book of Hebrews. Because it goes off into our forefathers, man. Job, um, Abraham, uh, I mean, Elijah. You, you go off into it, it's a lot of, um, you know, verses in there that actually build your faith up. Because we have to believe, man. Now, Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, Without faith, no one can please Yahweh. Whoever comes to Yahweh must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who sincerely try to find him. You see? Matter of fact, that's the ERV, Salakia. Let me read it in um, KJ, KJV. That was the, uh, you know, uh, another version of, you know, you could go through some of the Bible translations. It'll give you, it's an easy read. But you know, I like to stick to the KJV. But you can go to the NLT. It's plenty of them, man. I have about 10 Bibles downloaded that you know, and you could get a better understanding if you, you just want to read it in plain English. But you have to watch those, some of those translations. Because some of them are not just, they're just not translated correctly, man. Okay, this is the KJV. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that's his, you know, Yahweh, which means that he is, he exists where he is to be, the existing one. First off, you have to believe on the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be, the existing one. And the true name of his father, the Son is Yahweh Sai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer. So let's get that again. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that dil diligently seek him. So you have to diligently seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him, man. Not half-assed. You don't want to be half-assed. You want to diligently search, you know, seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? That's like if you lose a damn $100 bill, you're going to search up, you're going to flip over every damn thing, man to try and find that hundred dollar bill. Or if you lose diamond earrings, or if you lose a, an expensive watch or an expensive bracelet. Hell, even if you lose your car keys, you're gonna search diligently. So, so why would you search diligently for the one that created all things? And you had to believe, man, that faith is very, very important, man. Let's go into Hebrews chapter three, verse 12. Take heed, brethren, Lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief. And departing from the living power. See? Let me get that again. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power. So you don't want to have an um, a evil heart of unbelief, man. You want to believe. That's very, very important, man. It's very, very important to believe, man. That's like being in a relationship, you know, just with, with um, physical, being in a relationship, you know, and, and, and that person never believes you, you know? You got a spouse, they never believe you. And it's not that you're lying. You've never told them a lie, 
but you're always constantly telling them the truth, but they never believe you. That will bother you. That will make you want to get away from that person, man. That will make you look at that person a little bit differently. Okay? In the same chapter, let's move down to verse 18 and 19. And to whom swear he that ye should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Now that goes back to, um, you know, you, go, you can go back to the wilderness. They walked the wilderness 40 years, man. And a lot of that generation, that one generation that didn't believe, they died in the wilderness, man. Yahweh Shimei Abishai pronounced a death on them that told them that, hey, you of this generation, nobody made it but Joshua and Caleb, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But that whole generation that gave that evil report when they went to spy out um, the land, they gave an evil report. Yahweh Shimei Abishai told them, hey, all right, none of y'all go see that land. None of you. And we're living in those same days and times now, man. Those people are back. Those spirits are back on earth. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. See, you had to have faith, man. It didn't profit them. You can, you can listen to the word all day long. But if you're not having faith in what's being said, you know, it's not going to profit you. And like I said, again, I've had a week of faith building, man. Faith, 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 man. And I'm praying that, you know, I just abound in it and get stronger and stronger in it. Get stronger and stronger in faith, man. Because it's very, very important to have faith. You have to have faith, man. Faith without work. And you have to have works as well. Faith, faith without works is dead. See? Faith without works is dead. Let's go down to verse 6. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 6. See, therefore, it remaineth that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. So you had to believe. You have to have faith in Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh's side. It's, it's not enough to just read the scriptures, man. You can't just pop over the scriptures. Oh, I'm just going to read. But you don't believe in nothing. You know? See, everything is fine until uh, uh, something jump off. That's the thing. What are you going to do when shit get bad? Because you, you can read all you want. Everything's fine. You got food in the refrigerator. You got food in the cabinet. Your health is all good. Car running great. Everything's going fine. But when one of those, or two of those, or three of those, or maybe all those things break down, how do you react to it? Do you fall back on what you've been reading? Or do you, you, you panic and just start doing carnal shit, man? That's what you don't want to get into. You want to have faith and not get into nothing carnal, man. Because you, you know, when things are not going according to plan, you can panic. You'll forget all about it. It's your how about Shimi Awashai that pro provides all your needs. You'll forget all about that your steps are ordered by him and that he's in control of all things. Then, you'll, you know, you don't want to go into panic mode. You want to have faith. Scripture should be popping up in your mind like, you know what? How about Shimi Awashai said that? I'm going to bring this. Matter of fact, I done a lesson on that yesterday. Bring it um, into captivity. Bringing into captivity your thoughts, basically. Roughly paraphrasing. You want to bring into captivity those wild ass thoughts that go against what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, man. Okay, so let's go, let's move on. Let's go to Numbers chapter 14, verse 11. And Yahweh said unto Moses, How long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have showed among them. Well, let me get that again. And Yahweh said unto Moses, How long would this people provoke me? And how was they provoking him? They was provoking him with murmuring, complaining, and, and unbelief. 
not having faith. They seen all those miracles, man. Jake seen uh, 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 all the plagues of Egypt. The Passover is coming up. They 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 seen that the, the angel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh pass over their homes from being obedient from that point. So they seen that. They seen that the Egyptians, firstborn sons, were, were, were killed. They, they heard the wailing in the morning that night when every all the damn screaming. Every house had a damn dead child in it, I think. Roughly paraphrasing. So they seen all that. They make it out, they go to the Red Sea. They walk across the sea, man, on, on dry ground with the waters on both sides of them. They see that. They seen all these miracles, man. But still, yet, it, what did they do? They still didn't believe. They seen all those miracles firsthand. And see, being in this troop right now and having faith in Yahweh, it, it goes off into that, roughly paraphrasing. He said, blessed are those that, um, you know, have never seen me, roughly paraphrasing. Because there were actually accounts of people that actually saw Yahweh Shai doing miracles. We haven't, we haven't seen that. But we're blessed because we believe in him and we believe on that, man. That goes a long ways. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he has a great respect for that, man. Having faith in him, man. Okay, so let's, let's move on. Let's go to Numbers chapter 20 and verse 12. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. So even Moses made a mistake of not, you know, believing, so, so, so to speak, you know, or letting the children of Israel basically aggravate him and getting him to do something that he shouldn't have done. So Moses didn't get to see the promised land. But that doesn't mean that Moses is not of the elect. That doesn't mean that, you know, Moses, you know, didn't have faith. Because Moses was right firsthand with Yahweh by Shimei was side, man. The Lord didn't speak to Moses in riddles, man. He spoke to Moses face to face. Face to face, that's what the scripture says, man. So you know he had to have had all types of faith. You see? Let's go into the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 22. Because they believed not Yahweh and trusted not in his salvation. You see, Salakia. Let me get a little more on that. Oh, wow. Okay, well, anyway, iPhone just died on me. But anyway, um, we'll just continue on, man. Like I said, I always say, an iPhone, they're no good in the heat and they're no good in, 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 in the cold. But I had 100%. <laughs> I'm thinking I could, you know, come on out and do it. But anyway, hey, it goes on. We must have faith, man. I wasn't going to be out long like that anyway. But the main, po the main point of the lesson is to have faith, man. You know, you out here, don't, don't worry about whether or not um, you're, you're gonna have a job or not. You know, you have to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the one that fills your cabinets, man. He's the one that fills your refrigerator with food, man. He's in control of all things. You had the um, Daniel in the lion's den. And that actually increased um, Daniel's faith when you go into the book of um, Apocrypha, Habakkuk, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai had him go, matter of fact, basically <laughs> teleported him, man, into the, the lion's den to David, man, to feed him, man. You see? You had the man of God that was fed by the ravens. You had the man of God that was, you know, came across the, uh, the lady with the cruise of oil. They was all good, man. See what I'm saying? I mean, and like I said again, I always say, look around you. Look at all the things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah created, man. You have to have faith, man. And we're definitely living in the last days. This time, it's about time to get the hell up out of here. This place is wicked as hell, man.
But if you don't have faith, you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed, man. Right along with this place, uh, Babylon the Great, man. You're going to be destroyed. As a matter of fact, now think about it. I do got my arm. Um, Yeah, I got the physical book on me, too. Yeah, I just had them precepts lined up in, um, in, in the iPhone. But it's all good, though. I mean, like I said, again, the point of it is, is faith, man, having faith. Having faith in these last days, man. Matter of fact, let me start from um, Hebrews chapter 11, verse, verse, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See, that's what faith really is right there. Because if you, hey, you, you have to have faith, man. It's that simple. You have to have faith. And that's dealing with anybody. So, so what about the Lord, man? He has given us clear examples. He has shown us over and over and over again, everything that you look at, and, that, and it goes into that in Romans too. Romans chapter one, that they have no excuse because they see that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai exists just by the things that he created. These people, have they, they have no excuse. They're not gonna have no excuse to say, well, we didn't hear it, or we didn't know. You got, they prefer, to, they prefer to, to believe Esau, telling them that they came from damn monkeys, man. That you evolved from a goddamn monkey. When there's monkeys still in the zoo. They prefer to believe that crap than to believe that Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai created the, the, the earth, the planets, and, and, and the stars, moon, and all this stuff, man. They prefer to worship the creature rather than worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that created the things, man. You see what I'm saying? Salaki, sun all in my eyes, so got a, you know, Salaki, sun on the back end back there. It's getting ready to kind of sun down on us. But yeah, you know, let me go back into this. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders have obtained a good report. See? For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. See? You have to have faith. We have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah created all this stuff, man. We have absolute faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah created the birds, man, the bees, all types of insects. You see what I'm saying? We, 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 we really believe that. We believe that Yahweh created his son, Yahweh Shai, to create, and he created all things. We definitely believe that, man. We have faith in that. We have faith in the chariots. We have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to come and, and swoop us up, man, in those chariots, man, when things get rough. We have total faith that we're gonna make it through Jacob's trouble, man. We have total faith that he's the one that's gonna feed us. He's the one that's gonna provide us with all that we need while everybody running around acting a goddamn fool. They're gonna be panicking, man. We have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And like I said, verse 11, it goes off into faith. Hebrews chapter 11 goes off into big time faith, man. Because we are definitely living in the last days. How about Shimei Abasai is going to destroy this place, man? And if you don't have faith in him, your ass is going to be destroyed. Straight up. Verse 4. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, but which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testifying of his gifts, and by it, he being dead, yet speaking. See? By faith, Abel, man, he, he, and that's how you know that the law, statutes, and commandment was on deck way back then. You see? 
There was a form of the law, statutes, and commandments back in the days of Cain and Abel. Because why was they why was they giving out um why was they even doing sacrifices? You see what I'm saying? Why were they doing sacrifices? It says, verse 5, by Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh had translated him. For before his translation, he had testimony that he pleased Yahweh. See, it's impossible to please Yahweh without faith. Absolutely impossible. You cannot please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's side without faith, man. Straight up. Verse 6, but without faith it is impossible to please Yahweh, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. See that? You have to believe that he is before you can even come to him. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Because you got Jake, man. Hey, <laughs> niggas do not believe in the, in the Lord. They, they actually really think that they the ones get themselves up in the morning. Niggas don't know how nothing operate. They don't know nothing about a breath that they take. They have no idea what 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 the the arteries, the nose, the hairs, the everything do does in the body. They just think that they're in control of everything. They just pop up. I done this. I done that. Prideful as hell. Not even knowing what the hell is gonna happen in the next three seconds. But Jake proud like that. And don't believe. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gonna show you, he's gonna show you that he exists, man. He's gonna show you. There's gonna come a point where there's this invisibility of him. There's gonna come a, a visibility of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai where people are gonna be damn shook, man. When they see them chariots break through them skies, they're gonna be shook. Straight up. It says, by faith, Noah, being warned of Yahweh, of things not yet seen as yet, moved by fear, moved with fear, prepared an ark to saving of his, of his house. Let me get that back. By faith, Noah, being warned of Yahweh, things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. By the, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. See? He became heir of righteousness by faith. He had faith that Yehovah Hashim Yahweh Shai was going to do what he said he was going to do. He built the ark, man, and prophesied to the damn people, man. But nobody believed. Only eight people were saved out of that, man. Out of all those people that was on the planet, only eight people made it through that, man. And it's going to be the same way with this fire that's going to come. Not to say that it's only going to be eight people, but what I'm saying is, is people going to really believe when shit start getting bad, man. When this thing comes to a point of real Jacob's trouble, especially when them chariots split, blow through the sky, Jake gonna really know. They gonna really know, man. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to, to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is Yahweh. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. And was delivered of, and was delivered of a child when she was past age because, of, because she judged him faithful who had promised she was of old age man when she had isaac man but she had faith in yahweh by shimi i was shy and it came to pass and like i said again man we're living in these last days 
All the prophecies are coming to pass, man. If you can't see that we're living in these last days, how about Shimei Abishai has really truly blinded you, man? You see? And be thankful. If you're in this truth, be thankful and continue on praying to Yahweh by Shimei outside that he will not blow out your candlestick or take away the Holy Spirit from you, man. Pray that he will not allow you to have taste this, this truth and go back into the world, man, return it to your vomit. A damn pig wallowing back in the mud. He done been sprayed down and washed all up and then he goes back and get in the mud, man. You don't want to be one of those people, man. Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we are almost there. We have faith, man, that this could possibly be our last Passover, that this could possibly be the last year that we're here in this wicked ass society, man. Dealing with Esau Edom, man, in this wicked ass kingdom. Damn hypocrites, man. I don't even want to get into them. I'm just talking about faith, man. We have faith that we are the Hebrew Israelites according to these scriptures, man. You had to have faith even in that. Here you go. You got Jake out here talking about the damn Edomites can make it too. They want to share the kingdom with the very people that fucked them all over for hundreds of years, man. Gullible. Want to forgive these clowns for having your ass in the worst of conditions. Matter of fact, if you can see across the street, I can't really see it like that off the, um, off the, uh, 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 Basically off the phone reflection because of the sun. But if you can see across the street, this whole goddamn block terrible. Look at the look at the look at the blight. Look at the blight, man. If I let me turn this, I'm gonna turn this to the right. Look at that, man. All the way through. All in the back of me. The houses and everything, man. Fucking trash, yo. You trying to tell me that you you're willing to stay? And Jake is proud of this shit. Real talk, man. Jake is proud of being in these terrible ass conditions, man. They brag about that shit. Uh, my hood is y'all. Y'all not rougher than y'all not tougher than us. They they brag about this type of trash. They'll do a damn video rap video in front of this shit. They they'll choose to do a rap vi video in front of this shit just to just show how quote unquote hard they are, man. But by faith, man, we coming up out of this shit, man. And this is going to be our last captivity, and we're never going to be in shit like this no more. Here you go, Esau, and gave you the worst of conditions, and you want to have faith that they come with you. Nah, man. Scripture's not going into no damn Edomites. Go, Edomites not going to be on no level with us. None of these heathen nations are going to be on no level with us, man. It's a damn shame. But that's how, that's the type of Stockholm syndrome our people got, man. Stockholm Syndrome to the fullest. Chronic Stockholm Syndrome. Where the very people that destroyed your ass, you want them to be on evil footing, equal footing with your ass in the kingdom, man. No, man. This is their kingdom. This is their kingdom right here. They're living in their heaven right now, man. Why you living in hell? Because heaven and hell is a condition. I'm telling you, man, Jake, y'all better wake y'all asses up, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Let me see what else we got on here. Um, Let me get verse 13. Hebrews 11 and 13. These all die in faith not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So they had faith, even though they didn't see it right off, they actually died without seeing it. A lot of them, man. Well, here we go. That generation is, 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 Yahweh is back and we're gonna go into the promised land the, the real way, and we're never gonna be taken out of it again, man. And it's gonna be so damn beautiful. It's not gonna look like this shit you see across the street right here, man. Matter of fact, let me turn this around. I'm gonna turn it around this way. Check it out, even back this way, if you can see that. 
Look at all those fucked up houses, man. All the way around, 360. I can go all the way around, 360. Number fucked upness. Look at that, man. You see that? All that, man. Hey, we're not gonna be living like this no more. Eat so eat them. They able to give you the worst of damn food. The worst, the worst of health care. Then these motherfuckers, they, 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 they surprised that Jake don't want to come through and roll their damn sleeve up. See what I'm saying? But we have faith, man, that this could possibly be our very last year here, man. Real for real. So, you know, I'm going to wrap it up, man. I'm not going to keep the lesson long. The, the point of it is, is, hey, faith, man. Having faith and believing in Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy, man. But let me end out with Romans 13, like I always do, because this right here is, is one of the reasons why we come out and we do these lessons, to let our people know that it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Our people are in a dead damn sleep. Goddamn house on fire and Jake snoring, man. Slobbing at the mouth, man. He don't hear the smoke alarm. He don't even, he, he can't, he's, he's choking on the damn smoke. Hebrews 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than we believe, man. Look at the damn news. Pay attention to what's going on. Yahweh Shai, he explained to us the types of things that will be going on in the last days. The wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilence, sedition of men, uproars in the people. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Those are just a few. The weather, man. Earthquakes. It's getting buck wild out here. The damn people about to, it's nutting the hell up. Legions of damn demons out here. Verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. So, hey, we got to cast off those works of darkness as a people, man. How do you do that? First off, you need to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. True name of the Father is Yahweh which means that he exists where he is to be. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's, he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew, Mashiach, the anointed one. You have to first off believe on him, the father and his son. Repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. That's how you start to work, to get, off the, uh, to get away from the works of darkness, by repenting, man. Verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on Yahweh Shai Mashiach and make, no provi make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And that's a problem with a lot of our people, man. See, when you come into this truth, you're going to start to peel away that lust, man. Because you can't, you can no longer live carnally when you come into this truth. And that's our, that's what, hey, we need to get away from all that. It's high time to awake out of sleep and live spiritually. We have to live by the spirit, man. That's the only way out. To accept the Holy, to, to, to get the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And I know this goes, this goes to whoever's going to get it, man, because everybody is not going to get it, you know. But they're not going to have an excuse, though. So lock you. Okay, it says, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Hey, that's the spirit, man. That's that little Bible app I got in here. Always say that I'm going to delete it because it'd be popping up like that. But you know what? Those, those scriptures be popping up and they come in handy, man. 
Sometimes the scripture, I'll be thinking on something, man, and one of them scriptures will pop up like that, and, and, and it increased my faith. See what I'm saying? So like I said again, man, I'm going to wrap it up. We're living in the very last of days. It is high time to awake out of sleep. You know? And, and, and to wake out of dark, come out of this darkness, man. Like I said, this place is wicked as all hell. And Jake love this shit, man. But we're, hey, we're going to come to a point where we're going to actually know what real righteousness is, man. See, we've been in, in Esau Edom's wicked ass kingdom and we haven't experienced true righteousness. We don't know what that is. We don't know, you know, even being in this truth, we don't know the completeness of it. So, hey, but that's why we fight, man. We fight to make it so that we can we we can make we can make it to the kingdom and actually live a righteous, righteous life, man, which is life. We're just out here, just death, man. Just a stench of death everywhere. Jake just doing all kinds of wicked shit, man. That's why the scriptures talks about Yahweh placing a mark on the head of those that sigh and cry. You know? Always want to be one of those people. I pray that I'm always one of those people that are sighing and crying, man, for the, the coming of our Lord and the, the coming of righteousness, man. We're wicked as hell out here, man. It's going to be beautiful in the kingdom, man. And the scriptures talked about we can't even imagine. I want to be a part of that, man. So with that, you know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, that were honest to our apostles and elders of Grace Millstone at Ruel, the Bible Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And again, just want to say Thawada to all you Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimon Wasai to the best of your ability. So with that, Kwam Yashala! Kohala Yahweh by Shimon Wasai by Shimon Rakakwadash, man. It's a lot. I can barely see out here. <laughs>